Damage to the peripheral nervous system, usually caused by serious accidents, can lead to loss of motor control and sensory perception. The physical impairments resulting from this injury are caused by the lack of connections between the nerve cells. Although peripheral nerves have regeneration capacity for short nerve injuries, in long nerve gaps, this spontaneous nerve repair is not sufficient to achieve functional recovery. NeurIMP is led by IK4 Techniker, which is collaborating with other partner organizations. The Neurin project is providing solutions for one of the major challenges in restorative medicine and microsurgery. Peripheral nerve injuries are affecting to more than 1 million people annually in Europe and the States, with 10% of them going under surgery. The implementation plan of the Neurin project is divided in two phases. During the first phase, we are dealing with the screening of biomaterials and manufacturing processes and study the in vitro properties of these biomaterials. During the second phase, once we have selected the most suitable biomaterial and processes, we will deal with the upscaling of biomaterial and processes and the in vivo validation of bioimplants. The main challenge to face is to regenerate long nerve gap injury. So we are talking about 4 cm in human. By considering or by manufacturing this sort of a small tube, I can see you here. So this sort of small tubes that it has some um, micro inside, inside and also it has some microfibers. And so we combine this uh, good uh, geometry with also with a uh, good properties of the biomaterial that is biodegradable as well and is very flexible in order to mimic the uh, native nerve. The University of Westminster is represented by my research group in Neurim. We lead Work Package 1, which involves the production, synthesis and characterization of natural and synthetic polymers. The natural polymers involved are polyhydroxyalkanoates and hyaluronic acid. The synthetic polymers involved are polylactic acid, polyglycolic acid and polycaprolactone. Led by the University of Sheffield, the new polymers are processed on the micrometric scale for the generation of neuron neural nerve guides. For this end, advanced manufacturing technologies will be assessed for the fabrication of two differentiated parts. An outer wall with selective porosity for nutrient exchange and providing physical stability to avoid the collapse while regeneration progresses, and an inner endoneuron-like microstructure based on an array of aligned channels or fibers to promote axon regeneration. Histocell is living in vitro preclinical assessments on those new biomaterials designed and previously produced and manufactured. The general objective of World Package 3, leaded by Histocell, is the in vitro preclinical assessment of materials designed and produced on World Package 1 and 2. We contribute to select the most suitable biomaterials regarding biocompatibility, biodegradability, and cell interaction properties to generate by artificial nerve conducts and apply them in engineering strategies for peripheral nerve repair. One of the most important features of Neurim is the scaling in the synthesis of the selected materials as well as the scaling of the micromanufacturing technologies used. Led by ContriPro, the upscaling of the targeted microcomponents and biomaterials will make the implant to be manufactured at a competitive price. The National Hospital for Paraplegia will evaluate the efficacy of the developed neural processes to promote the regeneration in a preclinical rat model. The developed neural processes will be used to repair a long-limiting interneural gap of 50 mm, equivalent to 4 cm in humans, and assess their ability to promote both an anatomical and functional effective regeneration by means of histological, locomotor, sensory and electrophysiological tests. The project will be guided right from the start by the regulatory aspects that need to be taken into consideration in order to manufacture a safe medical implant and thus facilitate its transfer to industry.